Hello! This video continues our video blog series on face tracking functionalities in mobile applications. In our previous video, we have demonstrated an iOS application prototype which simply detected faces in the camera stream. It was based on the native frameworks and could only show the positions of user's eyes and mouth. Current application uses neural network to detect user's face. Once the face is detected, the neural network returns 68 specific points, called landmarks, that exist on every face. We use these landmarks to draw the facial contour around the face. As you can see, the application easily detects two or more human faces on one image. This set of 68 landmarks describes the user's face more precisely than three coordinates used in the previous application. So, now we can use the new algorithm to recognize a face. Let's explore the application structure. Basically, the neural network represents a big data file. In our case, it weighs around 100 megabytes. Our application stores it in the smartphone's internal memory, but the artificial intelligence can be deployed on the server side if necessary. We use the custom Dlib library to interact with the neural network. Its work and speed while using it on top-class smartphones satisfies us, whereas the performance on weaker devices is far from smooth. Hence, we've done some optimization tricks with initial code to improve its efficiency. For example, we use a smaller version of the original image from the camera to detect the position of user's face. OpenCV library detects position of the user's face, then the application crops the original image as an input to the neural network. On the next step, the application adds the landmark coordinates to the live image from the camera and displays the picture on the smartphone screen. The application manages the video output at an impressive rate of 30 frames per second. However, the neural network cannot proceed all of these images in real time. Depending on the speed of smartphone's processor, the neural network is capable of processing up to 10 frames per second. For the rest of the frames, we use the last determined landmark coordinates, assuming that the movement of user's head is insignificant in a fraction of a second. In our previous video, we have provided quite a few examples of purposeful implementation of the face tracking application. Using the neural network gives us even more fascinating opportunities. Since neural network can recognize the user's face, it may as well be used to unlock your smartphone or to grant access to various secure objects. What's more, neural network should be trained to recognize handwriting or other types of objects. Another cool implementation of using the power of artificial intelligence relates to adding various filters to the picture, as in the well-known Prisma application. Apparently, this cutting-edge face-tracking solution based on free open-source libraries and optimized by our developers can be easily implemented in any customer's application. Moreover, we can use Delib to access the neural network both on Android and iOS. So, if you are considering an application development project, our developers will be happy to build an application of your dream. Visit our blog and portfolio to get more information about application development. Thanks for watching this video! Stay tuned to our YouTube channel for more application reviews.